I'm just gonna hold the microphone. I was gonna set it down and talk into it, but it it wasn't working out. The setup was weird. I kind of changed shit around a little bit where the camera is. So hopefully y'all like this shit a lot better. But I'm making a quick little video. I see a lot of people posting online about you know people with going through stuff. People that you know they haven't really specifically said what they're going through, but you know they're going through something. They posting on social media, sad quotes and stuff. This is for the people on the outside looking in more of, you know, if you got a friend, a family member, or just somebody you know, even an associate that you know that might be going through shit. Just listen to this right quick. Some of y'all have good intentions, but y'all suck at being comforting and emotional intelligence. It's not exactly where it needs to be dealing with somebody that's going through some shit. People always throw the word depression out. There are more emotions in this depression. Some people are grieving. Let me my hands up. Some people are grieving. Some people are lonely. Some people have, you know, something deep rooted. Maybe something emotional that happened to them recently. Some people are in school. They worried about, you know, their future. I can keep going. But there are more things out there than just depression. If you see me looking over here, there's another screen. I got two monitors. But back to what I was saying, some it's a lot more emotions in this depression, and emotions are not rational. You can't see an emotion. You can't even really feel how someone else feels. How you might feel depressed, someone else might see that as oh, it's not a big deal. But at the same time, someone might be depressed and they could damn near feel like they're not even on earth anymore. They sold and virtually left their body but you don't know that you thinking it's like your depression where you just kind of feel sad and you kind of move around all day no so then it might be paralyzed and they might not be able to get out of bed like i said it's, it's way deeper than just depression there are a lot of shit going on behind closed doors in someone's brain that you might not understand someone just might have a someone might might actually have a mental illness like something they can't help there was something that they were born with or something happening in their life whenever that change how their brain operates and so they can't really control that you know they might be feeling normal the next day but today they might be feeling like complete shit and there's nothing they can really do about it they can go clean up their house they can go journal how they feel but at the end of the day they just feel like complete shit and there's nothing they can really do. Like they just have to run. It just has to run its course. Kind of like being sick. It has to run its course. You can't hurry it up. You can't make it go faster. Because I see a lot of people. They might want their friend back. They might want their family member back. They may, you know, it might be your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin. You know, anybody. It might be a close friend. Some people might feel closed out. You know, they won't talk to me. They won't tell me what's going on. It might be something deeply personal that they're going through that they don't feel comfortable telling other people because you might judge them or they just don't want to talk about it. Some people, when they talk about things, they relive it and it's that it's even more painful than it's already being, you know, already fucked up already. You might make them feel 10 times worse by just trying to make them talk about something that they don't want to talk about. It's, it's a lot of shit going on besides just you know oh eat a sandwich or you know go eat some food some people food doesn't do it for them you can go in their favorite meal and that's not gonna make them feel better you can go you can drag them out of the house you can go on a whole vacation the whole time they stuck in their head still feeling that same emotion it's not that simple emotions are not rational you cannot control your emotions all the time if something ha if you go through a traumatic experience, you're going to feel something. You're going to feel something. I don't care who you are. I don't care how tough you. I don't care what you've been through. You go through enough shit, you're gonna start feeling something. This is it's just how it is. It's how humans are. Really, anything. Even animals have emotions. Elephants grieve when you know uh, elephants are pack animals. If an elephant dies within a pack, and then you know. They had a they mom or somebody is alive. They're going to grieve that creature. And those are animals. Those are not even humans. They don't even 
they everything on this planet has some type of well not everything but you know what i mean animals as far as like you know lions tigers bears shit like that elephants dolphins you know there's some animals on this earth that have similar iqs to humans and they have similar emotions they just can't communicate on the same level as us but the point i'm getting to is that you have to be patient with people you can't rush through this shit you can't make them feel better by just yelling at them why do you feel sad just be happy that's one of the worst things you can say to somebody that's going through something because you think they chose to be sad you think they chose to be fucked up right now no they didn't choose to be this way that's what they're going through that's why they say i'm going through something they say i'm at the end of it i'm at the beginning i'm going through something you know they're going through it they until they come to the end or it runs this course and they finally get over that hump or whatever they're going through i can keep going some people are changing their life some people might you know be, they might be thrust into a life they weren't really prepared for or they might be born into something and then at some point they decided to change their life and maybe all their friends who live in the same life so they might feel e- extreme loneliness to a point where like they damn near feel like they don't have anybody on this earth that really care about them and you gonna tell them this feel better they can't just feel better through that you know there's a lot of shit going on even me i can give you some personal examples from my own experience me i lost a lot of people in my life and there's a lot of things that remind me of them i'm not i don't want a friend i want that person let me say it again i want that person back I don't want you, I don't want Bob, I don't want Billy, I don't want fucking Sandy, I want that person back. I want to hear that person, I might want to touch that person, I can't do that. You can't put a price on that, you can't, I don't care who you are, you're not that person. I don't care if you're similar to that person, you're not that person. Is this what it is, and if I'm feeling, you know, that person where I can't, touch them or hear their voice i don't have a video of them or maybe i do sometimes i'll just, I'll just watch the video over and over again because that's the closest i can get to seeing and feeling that person all over again i don't feel like talking about that i don't want to talk about that i don't want to talk about that person it makes me relive memories and shit and i just get fucked up all over again sometimes even worse i don't want to talk about it just let me sometimes i post shit online i might post memes and shit or i might post really depressing songs because it to me that that makes me feel better i might go look through my story again and hear a song knowing that somebody else knows how i feel is comforting and i know there's some people in my life that has similar stuff going on or maybe different but on the same spectrum so where if i post a meme they might dm me and be like you know they might say something like i know how that shit feel that's more comforting than just hearing somebody trying to make me talk about something I don't want to talk about. Or somebody just trying to uh, make me go outside like that's going to make a difference. That's not. I can step foot out right now. And if I'm missing somebody or if I'm dealing with life shit, it's not going to make it any better. If it was that easy, I would already did that. I'm not a weak person. Nobody's a weak person. Some people just have different things that they can. Some people are really strong people to the point where, you know, it takes something really bad, almost life ending for them to like really sit down and, you know, have to feel something. Some people you can fucking, I don't know, crush they down fucking can of Sprite that they bought from the store and they'll probably bust into tears. That doesn't make them a weak person. It's just, they just, they feel a lot more than other people. Some people feel things differently than other people. That's all it is. It's, it's way deeper than just what people think it is. Depression has gotten a lot of uh, attention. It's gotten a lot of attention these recent years. A lot of mental illness has gotten a lot of attention. But a lot of people kind of, either they think people try to be sad on purpose to get attention 
some people do, but you can usually tell that they just bullshit. Like it's not rocket science. You can look at their story. If five minutes ago you was depressed, and then ten minutes after that you weren't, either you have a certain mental illness that makes you go through emotions in five and ten fucking minutes, or you just fucking bullshit, and, and that's all it is. Some people just exaggerate everything they do online just because they can. But don't assume everybody is like that. that that's fucked up. It is. You know, some people post, they might post, you know, alcohol and drugs they doing for whatever reason. I can't tell you why, but for them, maybe that makes them feel better. Maybe listening to the pressing that songs makes them feel better. You know, different things work for different people. I wouldn't recommend it, but at the same time, I'm not a fucking professional. I can't tell you what to do. Nobody can. You know, if your friend William wants to fucking do Xanax and pop pills all day and that's how he get through his life, I, I just nobody can tell him that he's wrong. If he's not hurting nobody and he's getting through his life like that. So you can control what you do, though. If you don't want to be friends with that person more, you don't like the way they add their behavior, you can be you can cease to be friends with them. But don't try to push somebody into being better. That's not how shit works. Like I said, I'm gonna keep saying this: emotions are irrational, and the way you talk to somebody really is really important when somebody is in a very weakened state. You know, they might you might not think they listening. They might not be looking at you. They might not be paying. They might not be saying a whole bunch. They could be listening way more than you think. And if you say something fucked up, it might echo in their brain for a long time. And it might not come to you in the future because remember the last time I came to you, you told me some fucked up shit that made shit even worse. You gotta be sensitive to this type of shit, man. You can't just always have it your way. It is can't. People are complex people, are complex creatures, I should say. You know, just be patient with people and let them go through what they're going. Now, if someone comes to you and they're telling you how they feel. Don't always give a solution. Now, if they ask you, then that's okay. But don't always give a solution right off the bat. Because maybe they just want to tell somebody how they feel about something. Maybe that's all they literally want is just to be heard and felt. Just to know that someone else on this planet or even in a circle knows how they feel. Sometimes that's all they say. Just listening. Just acknowledging how they feel and everything. You know. Everything doesn't have a solution that's real quick and easy. And think about it. Everybody has a brain on this earth. You think they haven't thought of that shit? You got to get outside of your own head. You're not the smartest person in the world. You think you're the first person to think of that? I'm not trying to make people feel bad or anything, but there's no, there's, there's no way. There's no other way to say that. You're not the first person to think of telling your friend to go outside, telling your friend to get off the couch, telling your friend to stop watching movies all day. You think they want to sit there and watch movies all day? You think they want to do that? No. Maybe that's the only thing they can do. Maybe it's better than sitting there looking at the ceiling that's reliving the same shit in their brain or just whatever's going on inside them that's making them sit on that goddamn couch or sit in their bed all day or stay in the house all day. Maybe it's something they can't really control. Now, you can check on them. But don't get mad when they don't respond. Maybe they don't have the energy to respond. Maybe they don't know what to say. Maybe there's nothing going on upstairs to where it comes out in a way that's not leave me alone. This is a really complex subject. I'm just giving y'all a slice of it. But I encourage everybody to do their own research. And some of this comes from this experience of just dealing with people. You gotta just take it easy with people. You know. I'm not saying you gotta be a fucking. Like you ain't got a baby them. That's not what I'm saying. But just. Before you say something. Before you type something. Just think. Just put yourself in that person's shoes for a second. And just imagine that was you. In that position. You know. Just. Be patient with people. Just, just really just listen to people and just be patient. Like I said, feelings are irrational. That's the last time I say it. I know it's probably getting on somebody's nerves, but feelings are irrational. You can't 
put a price on it you can't see it you can't touch it you know that's the beauty of some uh tv shows and movies and stuff there's some shows like that one disney movie that kind of personifies emotions in a physical creature or something you know but it's not always the case in real life you can't you can't see you can't touch it i can tell you how i feel but even that might not that might not be enough because you truly don't know how i feel how i see things with my own two eyes that's food for thought and plus because like i see a lot of people online right now plus the world is real weird right now there's a lot of turbulence i just posted this shit like probably two or three hours ago there's a lot of shit going on in the world right now that's affecting people you know some people don't feel stable when the world's not stable they don't feel stable and you can't fix the world so don't try to sit there and make them feel better by just telling them everything's gonna be all right either it will or it won't they know that either they gonna live to see the next day or they not maybe that's what's wearing them maybe the fact that maybe i might not be able to live to see if things get better I can keep going. I can go on and on for hours about this shit. And so I encourage everybody to do their own personal research. Talk to people. You don't have to be that person like I just said. Go talk to somebody else about the things I talked about in this video. Or the things you found online or through a book. Or wherever you found it. Whatever you find your information at. But just stop being so insensitive to people. That are going through shit and dealing with shit right now because like i said everything is not black and white if you look outside they got different shades of green brown purple i can keep going the world is not black and white everything is not have a real simple solution just be wary of that with people you know i guess i'm not yelling at nobody i'm not trying to beat them over the head with nothing but i just want people to think about this because i see the whole bunch so like i said some people they reach out to people with good intentions but the execution is very shitty and i don't i can't say it in a very nice way like i said is i'm doing the best i can with the vocabulary that i have right now I don't, I don't have a script in front of me i didn't sit down and write this shit out i just sat down and you know said it the way i said it because to me that's the simplest words i can use to get across to everybody if you don't like the way i said it i'm sorry but like I said, I'm not I'm not a wordsmith. I'm not gonna sit up here and write a down ten page fucking essay about this shit. I think I just wrote like three words on this fucking Google Doc right now. And it's literally all I'm going off of. I keep glancing at this make sure I'm still on topic. Match about it. Like I said, this is food for thought. Do your own research, think for yourself and just like I said, be patient with people. And just really work on how you talk to people. That's really all I'm saying. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. That's it.